Right, so I've just had to level on those, make sure they're all plumb. It's parallel and it's plumb. So I'm going to build this wall inside. I could have, you know, laid it down on the floor and made it like I did the sides. But because it's quite tall and thin, it's probably not easy to get square. It's easier just to, you know, build it in situ. It keeps raining, so might be vague on this, but but basically timber up there, timber up there, I'll be able to mark out the top, timber down the middle and one across the top. Right, so I've just numbered them, or lettered them, should I say, A, B, C, D, E. I could take it into the backyard and nail it together now.
I'm just going to bag a few screws in that for now, but I'll probably swap them and put coach bolts in. Coach screws, should I say. I'll make the frame for the other end, then I've just got to board it. Right, so I've just put some screws in that to hold it in place. And that one's built as well. I might put some more screws in later. Just put three inch screws in here, 70mm. Right, think about boarding it. I'll have to open that gate to do that though. Right, it keeps raining on me. Let me see if I can get this end boarded. I'll move that brace inside. But I just want to show you this hose that I use. Even in winter it's still flexible, you know, it's quite, it's rubberized, it don't go stiff. It's food safe, so there's no no contaminants, no oils inside. What's this stuff? Six by ten. I get it from a local place, I'll see if I can find a link. But it's quite good, you know, you have to put the ends on it and everything, it's just hose that you buy. But it's reinforced stuff. There you go, look. Anyway, it's quite good is that stuff. Right, you can hear the compressor. I get six nails in, then it refills, which is enough to get one board on, and then by the time I get another board up, the compressor's ready for me, so yeah, it's good. I get asked occasionally about that, that's all.
Right, I'll do the other end.
Right, you're not going to see that for the roof. Right, roof next, really. It's just another 3b2 frame going on top. But I don't want to get it, the board out today. It's not bad, but it'll piss it down as soon as I get the board out. So I'm going to do this racking in here. I'm going to put a timber, then a timber sat on top of that timber, then a timber, then a timber sat on top of that. So everything's sort of stacked on top of each other so it, it can't sag. I'm just going to nail it all together. That's why I didn't care about these got these joints down either side and I'll put a board in there I might do that when I get my ripsaw out but yeah 3b2 frame deck board again like that bottom right I've just marked that out I want three shelves in it and sometimes I talk in feet and inches but all my measurements whenever I cut whenever I draw anything it's always in millimeters and in my head it's working in millimetres, you know, if I say 4 foot I'm thinking 12, 20. But this is one exception. I want three, three compartments, two shells, 6 foot. So I've just gone 2 foot, 4 foot. The shelf's going to be on top of that, which means that this top opening is going to be probably similar to that, but there's a roof going on. So it'll probably end up smaller, but the bottom one will be bigger because it hasn't got that thickness of shelf reducing the reducing the gap. But I don't mind that because sometimes heavier stuff will go in the bottom and a thicker bottom and a thinner top, sort of the aesthetics make it look look grounded. You know, you don't want a big one at the top and a little one at the bottom, it just it's wrong. It just looks wrong. Right, so that's what I'm building got legs cut for the front then a timber on top deck board on top of that that timber is going to sit on top then another one on top same at the front here and I'm just going to nail it together because you're not relying on the sheer strength of the fixings you know everything sat on top of everything else just like lots of tables
right, so I've just got to fix them all down. I'm going to leave a little gap like I did at the bottom here. And I'll have to put down one for each, like I've done at the bottom. There's a board under there for that. But both necks, like I say, as soon as I get boards out, it's going to piss it down. So I think I'm going to go and make the doors. Right, that'll do. Going on. 